So yesterday was a very sleepy day for us since the baby shower was the day before. We was like knocked out. We really didn't do anything. We didn't open the gifts. So I started opening the gifts and I forgot like, oh my God, let me record. This room right here is a damn mess. You buy me watches, I buy you chains. Treat me right, I do the same. I hate your play ways, but I like expensive things. I'm so grateful, so happy for all of these things. But it's like, wow, y'all. This is going to take me days to try and open. So... I was just here doing that. So I'm just going to show you a couple of the things that I opened already. This was a coat from one of my friends. This is from my sister. This chrome heart hoodie is from one of Brash friends. Y'all, my baby has so much chrome hearts already. Like, he's about to pass me. Like, and I'm chrome heart queen, me and Brash. But this is from, this is a camera, the Nanits. I've seen it on the internet. This is from Brash friends. Because I requested it. I was like, you know what you could get me? Get me that. So, yeah, guys. I'm just here opening gifts. I'm out of breath. I'm always out of breath. Like, this is crazy. But, yeah. It's a lot of cute black boxes from Neiman Marcus. From my family. Friends. This from my sister. She got me some cute Tom Brown outfits. Some Burberry outfits. And she got me my baby dior bag i'm gonna open this again because i want to show y'all because i just love it so much other than that guys there's so much stuff here for me to open i'm gonna try to find like small stuff to open for y'all on camera but just give me a second let me open this dior bag it's so beautiful i, I just want my baby to be here already just so i can wear this bag like <laughs> i just want to put him in this bag if anything so if you have me on Instagram, you know, originally I really was going for the Dior stroller. I was telling my sister, like, give me the Dior stroller, blah, blah, blah. But then she was like, I'll get it. But you're always in the car. You're not going to be walking around nowhere. It's mad big. Like, do you really want that? And I was like, Ugh, you're right. I'm not. It, it, it is like a waste of money to me. So I'm like, just give me the baby bag because this for sure I know I'm going to use. I really only wanted the stroller just to take a picture for Instagram, but it's like... Who cares? I'm not doing that because I know damn well I'm not going to use it. And I know in reality I'm really going to be using a Duna stroller because it's small and it's little. Like perfect for me. Exactly how I want it. And that's a stroller I've been like looking at before I even thought about having a baby. Like I, when it first came out I seen mad people with I'm like that little stroller right there is going to be the stroller that I want. <laughs> so I'm happy I got this Dior bag to go with it. This is so freaking cute. It's really big. The bag alone is big. I can't imagine the stroller. It's probably mad big bulky. I'm going to be struggling by myself if I'm not with Brash and I'm outside with the baby with that big ass stroller. So I'm not even going to do it to myself. Like, I'm really happy with this bag though. So freaking pretty. Thanks, sister. See how my motherhood goes. If it looks like I'm going to be like a little outside with the stroller and like, you know, being able to actually use the stroller then i'm gonna go and pick that stroller up but if not that shit is gonna stay right there in the stores because that's a very big stroller and i don't want big bulky things i'm so little and i don't want nothing heavy to be strolling heavy stuff you know things like that so yeah okay let me open this one i really don't know who got me this hopefully they put their name in it a lot of people got me gifts and they didn't put their names like what's wrong with y'all lord this is so cute babe this is so freaking cute. Wow. This is so fire. I like this. This is so, so, so cute. Damn cute. Oh my God. This is so freaking cute. I really don't know who got me this. Damn. I just had to put it on Instagram. Like, who got me this? I was looking into like mad different breast pumps and they was telling me about this LV breast pump. And I was like, oh, it's $500, Brash. You're going to have to order it. And he was like, just put it on the registry. My friends are going to get it. I'm like, I don't want your friends to be buying stuff that expensive. But one of his friends really got it. I'm so hype. I've never been hyped for a breast pump. <laughs> this shit is so fire. It's like glass. And it's just so nice. And you can put it like just in your shirt while you're walking around. It's wireless. This is so fire. I'm really happy about this breast pump right now. So thank you and shout out to Brash friend.
I have a lot of stuff for the baby. I really don't have the time to sit down right now. Today is Mother's Day and open all these gifts. So yeah. Brad's been out all morning because he flew his brother out here. So he's been going out with his brother like every morning, getting breakfast, hanging out, things like that. Because I don't wake up early. We went to dinner last night with his brother. His brother's leaving today. So he's just spending time with his brother. They've been out all morning. He got a hotel like near us or whatever the case is. Basically on the same block as us. And they're about to come upstairs now before he take him back to the airport. I guess his brother's going to come say bye. And then, yeah. I don't know what's our plans for Mother's Day today, but... I really just want to stay here and open all these gifts and like start putting things together because this is crazy like it's a lot of stuff so i don't know if i showed y'all this little mini bar that i got myself from amazon and brash put up for me it's so cute but yeah i got some things here somebody got me john perry on i'll be bringing that with me in my suitcase to the hospital and my hospital bag because doctor opened this for me right now <laughs> these is little bottles that was left from the baby shower so i took these home so i can have some souvenirs they'll never be opened but yeah this is so freaking cute with the emerald on it so cute so so cute so i don't know if y'all know but my baby name is emerald and yeah that's his name that's what we decided to name him i'm gonna give y'all a whole new youtube video behind the meaning of his name i'm gonna do a mukbang speaking on it so that y'all can just like you know see the story behind it or whatever but it's definitely a story behind it and we decided to name him emerald oh shit this is brash right here oh, sorry i have the lock on the door darling okay i'm recording for my youtube right now that's why <laughs> <laughs> what the hell hi what in the world brash Day. yo Oh my god. What in the world is all of this? Wow, you are so funny. <laughs> Yo, this boy is out up early in the morning. What in the world? So look what I got. I'm so freaking hyped. These are Marnie's new newest slippers. And this is the new color that they just came out with. It's like a navy blue. I'm so freaking happy, like, wow. I can't believe how much, like, he's really, like, a dream come true. I don't think y'all understand. He pays attention to the craziest things. Like, I really told him, like, I'm going to go back and get me some Marnie slippers. And I just forgot about them. And then he went and got them. It's crazy. My sister's calling me. Hold on. So I'm currently washing all these pajamas that I got. Some is already in the dryer, some is already in the washer. I'm waiting to do these loads. So so we can make room in this room right here. Stacking some diapers. From the sizes. So the biggest size at the bottom. All the size at the top. Doing some stuff little by little though. Coming together. Oh, Lord. So, I am having contractions. First, it was like 10 minutes apart. Now, they're just getting lower and lower. I went to the hospital. I'm dilated one and a half centimeters. I have to come back when I'm four. I'm tired. I'm going to try to take a nap because... Hopefully I can even take a nap. I look so busted right now. I'm so mad. I'm going to have to go into labor looking busted. But that's my last concern right now. I'm just in a little bit of pain. Uh, good, yes. 
<laughs> this is you're doing. You're actually doing very well. Yeah. 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 For a first Trust. timer, you know. Yeah. Trust baby. us. Yes. You went really you fast. Amazing. You got. You got. You got about. Right? And I'm really a dad. <laughs> trying to record for y'all as much as I can but it was my first labor and I was scared and I was in pain I did the epidural that helped a lot but I still had like this one slight pain that was not going away but he's here I went into labor 4 a.m. and he came out around 5 5 a.m. Yeah, not 5 a.m. Five in the afternoon, so a couple hours. I really wanted to record everything. I have some clips in my phone, so I guess I'll add that in from there. But I was just so focused on getting this done because I was scared. I wanted to make sure I push and not not have a C-section. I did that. Proud of me. And yeah. It really wasn't a long labor for me. It wasn't. It was it was it was smooth. It was just the pains. I was really dealing with the pains though because I watch a lot of videos and girls be screaming like ah! and just screaming for the contractions and I was just literally eating it all in. But I did it. I'm just happy I did it. And right now I cannot feel my legs because of the epidural. So yeah, but the epidural definitely is a big help. I had all my contractions in the front and then they started coming to the back. <sighs> as soon as I finally fell asleep to take a little nap, it was time to wake up and push. When I first came in, I was one centimeter and a half open. They sent me back home and told me to come back when I'm four centimeters. When I came back, I was still one and a half centimeter open. Then they checked me, then I was two centimeters. And then, I jumped from two centimeters to six centimeters. So I was like, okay, that's after I did the epidural. I think the epidural really helped that. I'm like, okay, this is good. So that means I could possibly make it to 10. They checked me in another hour and I was 10 centimeters open. And they said they was gonna have me push in about 20 to 30 minutes. So I was just here trying to deal with the pains that I was getting, the little leftover pains that I was getting because I was getting some pain still. And then I pushed. I tried. To, I did a couple tries. It was not working. And then I just kept going for it. And I pushed. Thank God. So I'm really happy with the doctors that I had. He wasn't like forcing me to push, rushing me. Like he was just so good and professional. He knew exactly what he was doing. And most importantly, I didn't tear. I didn't tear. Like that's crazy. I thought. I would have to get a stitch or two. I didn't have to get nothing. Like, that's just crazy. I'm so happy. Everything went literally, like, good. The only thing that was killing me a little was the contractions, but, oh, I did, I think I did so good with them. What do you, what do you think? Do you think I did good with the contractions, babe? Uh, you, you know girls excellent. be screaming. You did excellent, man. You took it like a champ. I'm proud of you. I was like, Oh, I was just like. You gonna hear me straining with you? Yeah, I'm laughing because I'm like, this I'm boy. Like this. One, two. <laughs> I'm like, what? I couldn't believe that that was bad funny. But the doctor that I had, he is amazing. Like, wow. Like, they all were so good. Like, they some good doctors. They did like really good. I'm happy. So I'm not in any pain right now currently. Just sitting here, just finished eating some McDonald's. The baby is in there. I'll be showing y'all him soon. 
And yeah, I'm just sad I didn't get to show like my pain. But I have some videos on my phone, like I said, I'll throw it in here. But my bags was downstairs in the car and I didn't want Brass to leave me. He kept telling me, I'm gonna go down and get the camera, I'm gonna get the camera. I was like, no, I need you to stay right here with me, please. But he went and got it, so I'm able to record now. Feeling better, and I just cannot feel my legs from this epidural. I cannot feel my legs at all. Oh, and my stomach is already down. That's just crazy. That means my stomach was small. It felt huge, but it was small. And I knew I was gonna give birth, because when I was in the house, I had these different pains that I never felt before, and I was like, ignoring it i had them for about three to four hours and i was ignoring them and then i finally told brass i think i'm just gonna go to the hospital because i don't want to ignore it because i don't know what it is and whole time it's because i was in labor so i'm so happy i did that i'm so happy i'm so proud of me that i pushed i did not want to get a c-section that was like one of my biggest fears i was like i have to push this baby out <laughs> i have to but He's so cute, and he looks like a perfect mixture of me and Brash. <laughs> so, yes. Very happy right now. I just can't wait to go home with him. And he came way before his due date. His due date was May 27th. It is May 9th. So, he was born at 37 weeks and 4 days. So, yeah. I don't know. Hey, guys. I have McDonald's, but we got some hospital food here, too. It actually looks pretty good. Got some grapes, pound cake with whipped cream and strawberry. I want to see what's under here. It was so, so cute. I just did my first bathroom trip. It just burns a little when you pee. It's not so bad. We're switching rooms. Baby's in there. Okay. <laughs> so we're switching rooms. So it is 7.41 in the morning. Very tired. And First day as a mom, I can tell you, I have gotten no sleep. Keep waking up to feed him. And yeah, this is how it's going. I got woken up to this nasty breakfast. This is horrible. Ew. Crash asleep. Baby sleep. So it is the second day. It's, at, it's the afternoon now currently feeling a lot more better to where I can walk around I was not really in pain from the beginning I look so crazy right now I was not expecting to look this crazy I was supposed to have my hair done my lashes but it's okay I don't even care but um yeah I wasn't in a lot of pain oh my baby's up hold on <laughs> okay so he woke up so I had to feed him and burp him and put him back to sleep Nine times out of ten, when they wake up crying, either they got gas or they're hungry. So yeah, like I was saying, I look freaking crazy. But anyways, yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys the room that we're in since we switch rooms. It's not all that. It's just like regular. And um, duh. And um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the room. But like I was saying, I wasn't in pain. I was just like a little sore down there. So that's really annoying. I'm gonna show y'all what they gave me here. Which a lot, a lot of y'all told me they was going to give me all that, save my stuff. So I have my stuff here, but I have it in my bag. So I'm saving it. I'm listening to y'all because I'm using all their stuff. So I'm going to use my stuff when I get home. Um, yeah, I'm going to show y'all what they gave me and I'm going to show y'all my room. It's a mess here, but it's fine. It's not my house, so it's cool. Okay, so over here, it's our bags. The baby's bag, my bag. Got some ice buckets. Then we have brash bed over here. This is where he's sleeping. And then this is the baby stuff up here. This is where I'm sleeping. And then this is like where the baby's sleeping. So yeah. This is our room. And this is the breast pump that they gave me. 
Okay, we're gonna wake him back up. This is the breast pump they gave me so that I can try to pump some milk out. So far, I have not been successful. Only the colostrum, that's what I had so far. And I made him latch on for that. He had took some out. So I'm still trying to breastfeed little by little and get some milk out. So yeah, this is the room. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. So this is the bathroom. And here we have the pads they gave me. These are the regular pads they gave me. These are the panties they gave me. This is the Dermaplast right here. The spray that they give you with the bottle. I have my toothbrush, toothpaste, because I was supposed to give birth uh, two, week, two weeks exact from now, and he came sooner, I guess. So I forgot to put to pack my toothbrush and toothpaste. I was supposed to do that. I still have more things that I had to put in my bag, and since it came so unexpectedly, it just didn't happen. So yeah, right here I have the ice pack that they gave me. I have all this stuff, to be honest, in my bag. But like I said, I'm saving it like y'all told me to from my house so yeah I'm just using their stuff <laughs> I'm about to take my first shower since I gave birth to him last night and I'm really scared because my vagina is a little sore but I'm gonna do it so yeah a sneak peek of the baby okay so these are my shower accessories I got my sleigh by Ella pajama my slippers to walk around in my freedom mom socks my lip balm Gonna fix my hair up a little bit. Lightly spray myself. And yeah. Things I didn't get to do because I'm sitting here looking crazy, so. Okay guys, we are going home. And we're out.